So in my last video, I showed the keepers from the coin exchange uh, Mercury roll. And out of those keepers, there was, well, in my opinion, the, uh, the find of the, the find of the roll, which is this 1916 something. I'm going to see how close I can get in here. Okay, so there's a mint mark there, so it's not a it's not a Philadelphia. Philadelphia's I don't think have have I haven't seen any P's on any mint marks, and I think the no mint mark is the Philadelphia. So the question is: Is this an S or a D? I'm leaning towards an S. But that's kind of fat, and well, so is this, and that's that's an, that's an S. That's just for comparison. Now the question is, and and this, I I, brought, I took a D out, but this D is so clear. Oh, look at the D. It's actually like touching the leaf almost. Um, and are those two S's there? Well, this S here on the right is kind of more, it's kind of weird how they're in like all different positions, right? So I don't know. To me, it, it's more of an S than a D. Uh, if it's a D, it's a, you know, thousand dollar, five hundred thousand dollar coin. And... If it's an S, it's uh, if it's an S, it's five bucks. So it's most likely that's another D. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm leaning towards S. I'm leaning towards S because I don't see it. I don't see it being that round. Right? That doesn't look like a smooth D to me. That D is right at the tip of the, uh, the leaf. Look how high that is, though. Jeez. I mean, they're all in different places, these mint marks. Look how low that S is. And look how high that whatever is. I think I have a, uh, what do I have here? I have a, an 18, right? I have a 20, I have a 28. I have a 17. It's the 17 that I have here. Does it have a mint mark on it? It does. Look how low that S is. And look how high. You know, let me see. I, let me look at one on... Uh, Let me see. What's this? Oh, wow. So the D, so this is a, this is 1100 bucks. Okay. Look how high the D is in there. What, so what we need, what I need to do is to, so this one is, is definitely in the same mint mark place as that one is. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the S. Let's look at the mint mark of an S and see if it's if it's as high as uh, as that one is. Let's look at a nice clear one. 1916 S. As clear as we can get. The S is worth, I don't know, five bucks. Okay. This one's in fine condition. Okay, so this is a 1916 S. Um, I'll be honest with you. That S is small. It's nowhere near the branch. Uh, flip over to the... Uh, 
that D is, I don't know. Uh, where's the S? That's the S. That's the D. That's the S. That's the D. I don't know. I don't know. The S is close to the leaf. And how about the D? The D is also close to the leaf. I think it's an S. I feel like I feel like the letter is is shifted, but it's so wild how it's so 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 close to the branch though. And the other S is very, very far away from the branch. Anyway, this is where I'm at. I would have to I would have to take it to a, a coin person to let me know if that was uh if there's a definitive way to know if if you're a coin expert, uh, let me know, you know. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is an S and not a D, but it, I just can't tell. All right, so that is, this uh, concludes the deep dive into the 1916 that came in the, uh, I probably paid, you know, $70, $80 for the, for the roll because it was a few years ago and I see the rolls are, a uh, hundred or hundred ten bucks now on uh, on eBay, so I probably paid I don't know seventy eighty bucks for the roll. So I'm um, I'm happy with with the other uh, better dates that I got in the roll, um, but this one here is obviously the it's the crazy one. This is the crazy one. You know, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to find out eventually. Um, if, uh, if share the, you know, share the video, let somebody uh, show it, show it to you. That's a pretty good picture. I'm assuming it's an S, but it's just in such an odd place. That's all. All right. Well, thanks. If you stood here, um, thank you. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.